So the seat's taken out. Josh is over there eating. And uh, we're gonna finish taking the interior out of this thing. What interior? Well, what's left of it? We got door panels and floor. Ryan can do doors. Yeah, like Ryan's gonna do anything. And uh, clean it out. There's all kinds of shit in here. Found some receipts. Yeah, Old license plate. No, it's expired. Two thousand. Oh, February two thousand ten. Yeah, it's expired. So yeah. And we'll get this floor out of it, and we'll uh, set it up and start setting it up for we take uh, the bar the panel off, and uh, look what we find. Found two, there's one in here, and one up there. So two speakers in each door. That makes four! <laughs> but they're nice, <laughs> look at these, nice uh, Boston acoustic door, uh, speakers. Mm. Well, that's pretty cool. That's a nice little find. Put my ashes car. Let me put them in the car. Oh, we should probably pick up these nuts and bolts if we need to keep them. <laughs> oh, throwing them on the floor. Oh, that's nasty. Look at all those quarters. Ugh. Holy shit. All kinds of shit in there, huh? Oh, that floor is pretty rusty. Holy shit. Oh man, look at that floor. All the bees. That's how the bees are getting in. Fuck, man, this floor is fucked up, man. It's easy. So far, we got $3.50. 60 75 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, what I say? $3.70. Eighty-four, three dollars and eighty-four cents, right? Yeah. Oh, three dollars and eighty-four cents. We get to add to the build. All right. Well, there's the motor. It's all chained up. We're gonna use the trailer to lift it out because this thing's uh, getting maintenance, and uh, we ain't got no other way to get it out. So we're just gonna get it all chained up and ready to go here. And uh, we're gonna start cranking. It and, uh, we'll get it thrown up on a pallet. Can we get it out? frame out and rolled it out on scout bird probably not too good but it is. And uh, there's a trans on the top. So now we can start cutting and grinding here and moving stuff back. Time to put the wheels back on it. Alright so we got the shocks pulled out of it. Bounces pretty good. And uh pulled the motor out of it earlier and we started uh making some new motor mounts here but uh... I'm not sure about how to go about this they're talking about just dropping the motor back in it and hooking up our motor mounts and then just running you know brackets up to them so we get nice straight motor mounts but not really not sure where we're going with it this is what I got going here it's kinda a little haggard but It'll work. I mean, it's nice and strong. I mean, uh, I was going to take another one of these and put it on this side here. You know. Something like that. 
you know, and then box it all off and make it nice and nice and tight. So, but if you got any ideas, leave me a comment, and uh, we'll see what we can do. But this is what we got so far.